Today's wine text is the 2017 Clos Saint-Jean via Vigna Chateauneuf de Pop. So a couple of things that go into this wine that I think make it a little bit more special than other Chateauneuf de Pops. Uh, first is the winemaker here. Winemaker is Philippe Cambi, which if, you, if you're familiar or listen to some of the other videos we've done, he's an absolute legend when it comes to winemaking in the Southern Rhone. Uh, he's got some of his, you know, his name on some of the biggest wineries and some of the most collectible wines within the region. And I think overall, when tasting all of his wines, um, there really isn't a bad wine being made. So this is the Via Vigna, which basically means old vines or translates to old vines. Uh, so this is Clos saint Chen's oldest vineyard. Uh, it's about 115 year old vines uh, planted in 1905. And this wine is made of 100% Grenache. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited. I want to taste this because this is one of my favorite wines by Clausen Chen and one of my favorite wines for the price that comes out of Chateau de Pop. And then for the price that we're actually offering it to, or today for wine tax, it's just out of control. So, like I said, 100% Grenache, super classic Chateau de Pop, uh, vineyard, sandy soils, really kind of that earthy style wine. But in its youth, 2017 was actually a good year. I think it kind of gets hidden by 2016, but overall, a very good year in Chateau de Pop. So I expect it to be very dark fruited and actually pretty earthy. Well, that's kind of currants, dark cherry, uh, bruised blackberry thing going on. Lots of leather, smoky, kind of savory notes as well, uh, which is kind of what I expect out of a really classic Southern Rhone wine. Lots of tannin, lots of structure, but still a lot of acidity as well. I think this is a wine that, if you're going to open it now, definitely decan it, definitely get some air in it. I think a decent amount of time with rolling air in it will make it even better. But I also truly believe that this is a wine that's going to last 5, 10, 15 years down the line, maybe even 20. Um, Chateau de Bob is some of the most age-worthy wine in France, and I don't see this being the exception to that. Uh, so yeah, if you want to open it now, get some air into it, or save it for a special occasion. This is a spectacular wine. At the price we're selling it at, I think we're doing it, you know, under that thirty dollars mark. It's uh, extremely impressive and some, you know, supremely delicious at that price. Enjoy.